Hey guys, welcome back to another week of plant to do's. I have a few orders to pack this week and a few planty errands to do. We have a restock coming up on Thursday this week, so I have to get the plants ready for that. I am also thinking about doing. This is the ice cream truck. <laughs> that comes here every single day. <laughs> so some things regarding my online plant store. I wanted to bring in a new category of plants for you guys, like just cuttings. Right now we currently sell majority of the plants already potted up. The reason why I keep a lot of the plants potted up and ship them potted up is because a lot of my audience on Instagram or my demographic that comes and shop a lot of people are actually beginners and that's the reason why i keep a lot of common plants on the shop is because i want a good mix of common for beginners and then some uncommons for the not beginners right not everybody knows what to do when you get a cutting in the mail you know a lot of people are just used to just getting a pot um from you know their local greenhouse and letting it acclimate like that um, I know that there is a lot of us, including myself, who usually will just unpot the plant and that's fine. But like I said, I just want it to be as easy for everybody as possible. But I want to introduce putting just cuttings, like either fresh cuttings, semi-rooted or rooted cuttings on the shop as well for certain people who enjoy just like semi-hydroponic plants. All of our plants are propagated in water which makes it really easy of a transition to either soil, a semi-hydroponic solution, or just straight up like hydroponics. The cuttings would be a little bit cheaper, obviously, because they're not gonna be potted up. Um, they would weigh a lot less than a typical potted up plant as well. Overall, I think it would be a really good category to have on the site for people who are just looking for either really small plants or easy plants to move to semi-hydroponics or whatever the case is. That is what I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna go through our propagation bin, get pictures of them, and I'm going to make a specific category on the site just for cuttings. And in the description, it'll tell you if it is like semi-rooted and not rooted, like if it's fresh or whatever like that. I don't think I'll be selling fresh cuttings, but I might, just depends really. But I think that will also help us get rid of a lot of plants as well, instead of having to wait so long um, to like pot them up and everything. So that is something I'm definitely going to be trying to do this week. If I can't get it done this week, it'll definitely be in the shop probably within the next week. So look out for that. I've also been super curious about trying out Pond for my plants. Um, if you don't know what Pond is, um, there's a brand called Lechuza. They make Pond. It's like basically like lava rocks. It's a semi-hydroponic system that you can use for your plants. Kind of like Lecca, but it's like lava rocks. Lechuza Pond is literally impossible to find here. And when it does go on sale online, it's like out of stock really, really quickly and you can't get your hands on it. And it's very expensive. I came across some posts on Facebook of what you could use to make it yourself. So I just ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. So it's gonna get here this week, so we'll see. So if it gets here by this week, I'll definitely show you guys how it works. Or maybe I'll make a whole different video of like uh, creating the pond and you know putting some plants in there and stuff like that so I'm really excited for that I recently came across a store near me that is focused on hydroponics and semi hydroponics so I want to go check it out to see if they carry anything special that I could use um, I know that they have a lot of liquid fertilizers I figured I would go check it out to see if they actually have Dynagrow there because I don't know anywhere around here that sells it in person I usually have to order it so if they have it, then I can just go there and pick it up. They actually have a specific grow tent there that I've been looking at. So I want to go see it in person and just like, you know, take a look at it, touch the fabric, everything like that. I want to see how sturdy it is. So I think that'll be cool to go and check it out this week.
I ended up not getting anything. Um, the store was really cool and they did have a lot of like liquid fertilizers and stuff, but they didn't have Dynagro and that's the one like I like stand by. So I don't know. Maybe once my Dynagro is finished, I will go over there and try a different one. Um, if you have any recommendations on another liquid fertilizer that you love, let me know. I'll definitely try it out. They even had like really big bags of LECA. So I'll probably start getting my Lekka from there because nowhere around here sells it. I have to order it. And another thing that they had, which was really interesting, is that they had a ton of net pots. A lot of people who do the two-part system for Lekka actually use net pots. So it was really cool to see so many different sizes of them and in person because you don't really see that in person. So maybe I might pick up some in the future next time I go and try out the two-part system. Yeah, so that's like pretty much all that they had. Like I said, I didn't get anything. I did see the grow tent though and I really really like it so hopefully in the near future we can swap out this pop-up greenhouse and get a grow tent. I'm trying to get one that's actually double that size so it would take up this whole like side of the wall. I'm just running out of a lot of space like with the shop and everything is very cramped in there for me. It would just be very easy if I just had a bigger space that was like taller and I could just run like four tier shelves. Um, throughout the whole thing and it would just make my life a little bit easier but that's like on the list of things to do so i do actually have to water a lot of the plants today i have to water everything in here and a few of the cabinets out in the living room um i haven't watered anything in a few days just because i haven't been feeling that well so all of the plant care kind of got like pushed to the side so i'm going to be watering and like trimming you know um dead leaves cleaning up stuff like that i'm probably going to do the cabinet cleaning and the greenhouse cleaning next week like i said i'm just not feeling a hundred percent so i will see you guys tomorrow
store. I bought these stick-on lights for the closet just because it's super dark. Like, as you can see, like, from the bottom here, it's so dark in this closet. Um, you know, my apartment is super dark as well, so I needed some type of light in here. So I'm thinking I'm going to put two on the top and then maybe, like, one, like, here or something like that. You just have to press them to, like, put them on or whatever. And then I got these magnets because I want to stick them at the, like, the base of the, like, the cabinet, like, where the doors are so that they can just, like, stick to the magnet and close because... I'm finding that since it is an Ikea product, it kind of doesn't stay shut. So maybe the magnet will help if I stick that on there. Okay guys, this is the closet. Oh, I'm so happy that I did this, you guys. This makes me feel much more like relieved. So this is what it looks like closed. Obviously I'll turn the light out, but this is the whole little area that we have here. This space wasn't being used, so I figured why not make it a uh, cabinet. Why is it like a gap in the middle like that? That is so ugly, but okay. So the whole idea behind this was that I needed a cabinet that could store all of my plant supplies, plant products that I sell on the store, other shipping items that I use for, you know, shipping plants and stuff like that. I just wanted a place where I could just store it and close it so it's not just all out in the open in my living room. So... The top shelf, I decided to put all of the plant pots that we keep in stock here. Some extra pots that I use at home, um, plastic cups, the bags I use for the soil mix. I have my big ruler here, my apron, which I need to start wearing because James got it for me for when I'm doing repots, but I always forget about it, but I'm gonna start wearing it again. I got this three tier shelf, but I took one of the shelves off just because I felt, well, I thought it was gonna fit, but it didn't. So I just took one off, it's kinda, kind of janky but it's it's fine i don't know what i'm gonna put in here yet but i like the idea of having something like this here um right now i just put the little soil mixes that are i have pre-bagged in here and um i can just still open it and close it like that and then down here i put my shipping stuff like all my stickers the freebie stuff everything i use to ship out um that goes in the packages and then down here i just have some moss poles bamboo sticks stuff like that I was even able to fit all of my plant pest treatment stuff and fertilizer and stuff like that. So I'm so happy about that because I had this stuff just like in a bin like on the floor in my kitchen and it was just a mess. But I'm so glad that I have this little section in here. This little shelf actually did not exist. This is from another Ikea piece that we took the shelves out and I just kind of just stuck it on here and it fits perfectly. And same with this shelf. This shelf also does not belong to this cabinet. This actually belongs to an Ikea console table that we have that we don't use. And James took it off and trimmed it to size. And now it just fits perfectly. And he put like brackets there. So that worked out great. Because this closet is actually a clothing closet. And it's supposed to have at the top here, it's supposed to have a bar for like your clothes. But I obviously didn't install that. But this is how it looks. And then down here, I was able to fit all of my soil mix, like my additives, stuff like that, and these smaller bins here. I do keep um, bigger versions of each of these bins, but I also like to keep small versions so I can just easily take it out. Down here, I have my scale for shipping, gloves, tape, heat packs, uh, plastic baggies, stuff like that. And then down here is just all of my documents, like paperwork and accounting stuff our Cricut heat press and our Cricut board here. I still have a lot of space, which is awesome because I'm gonna be getting a lot of um, other things that I'm gonna be able to sell in the shop that are not planned soon. So I can like store them in here, stick them in here or something like that. But yeah, this is what it looks like for now. I really, really like it. Um, I had an issue for a long time with keeping too many plant-like supplies and stuff like that, like nursery pots and stuff. So I actually went through all my stuff and just threw it out because like, I know I'm not gonna use it. I tried listing it on Facebook for free. Nobody wanted it, so it, it had to go in the trash. Like, I tried. So, yeah, I'm just happy. I'm feeling a little less stressed.
I made the decision to cut the Monstera album that I recently got from Equigenera because it had a little bit of root rot. So initially it had four leaves and now I took the top cut and then I left the bottom cut in its own part. So this is the top here, which is fine except for this leaf. I don't know what's going on and I'm kind of concerned about it, but I've separated the plant from my other plants just in case. But if you guys know what's going on, please tell me. You see all this like stuff on the plant, this black stuff? Look at the bottom. Like, what is this? I've checked the plant several times. There's no pests. I've taken the plant out. I cut the root rot off. I feel like it has something to do with the root rot, but I feel like ever since I got it, it was just declining and declining, getting worse. So I finally like was like, okay, like something's wrong. It has a little bit of like the black dots on this leaf, but then the newest leaf doesn't. So I feel like I should just cut this leaf, but just let me know what I should do if it's like bad I think it I mean obviously it's bad but I think I should just cut it but the stem is fine it doesn't have any stem rot or anything like that so like I don't really understand the bottom piece I separated it the top is fine the bottom was also starting to do this so I that's why I decided to just cut it because I don't know what's going on and I just want to make sure that I can at least save that that new leaf so yeah if you guys know what that is just like please tell me like what i should do should i just cut it off like i'm thinking just cut it off because it's ugly and i don't know I, I guess it is spreading so i think the best thing to do is just cut it off this one is not so bad but like i said i have them just separated out of the cabinet somewhere else because like i just don't know what's going on with them so that was that another sad story my big epipreneum pinnatum that i had recently just got also had root rot <laughs> so this is her now <laughs> um i kept noticing the leaves were like super like floppy and i was like okay i was like this plant has root rot there's, there's no way i had got it and then within a few days it literally declined that's fine i'm actually kind of glad because now i can just root it in water and make it a semi-hydro plant so it kind of works out it is really really pretty though and i'm just glad that the leaves have like they're completely come around now within a few days this leaf here has some like you know browning on the tip but it wasn't even unfurling and then the moment i put it in water it started unfur unfurling so happy about that but yes this is my epipreneum now sad but not really today i'm actually visiting one of my local greenhouses i'm here because i'm just trying to find some charcoal it's almost impossible to find around here so i just figured i would come and check out here if they have it and maybe just take a look at their plants i don't plan on buying any plants just because um we kind of shop from the same wholesaler <laughs> so i you know i know where exactly where the plants come from and they do mark up their prices really really high here so i'm probably just going to take a look around since it is the end of the season yeah i'm gonna go check it out and see what they got